For each gravestone, each service member lost and buried in the Knoxville National Cemetery, volunteers honored them with their own flag. We've had so many people that laid their life down on the line so we could be sitting here doing this today. It's almost therapeutic for veterans, those who deal with the guilt of coming back home instead of the people buried under these headstones. Take a minute out of your fun and, and remember those that, that made this possible. And for those still serving, it's a reminder of their sacrifice. When I leave my children to go on a deployment or on a trip, I don't lie to them. I say, until the Lord called me home, I will always come back to you. In South Knoxville, Ernie Gammon and Chuck Sane play taps every year for their neighbors. Oh, but this is a solemn occasion. It should be kept that way. Some of their classmates died in Vietnam. We've lost a lot of, a lot of members, a lot of, uh, a lot of folks are still paying the price. Ernie says seeing the way people honor their veterans this Memorial Day makes him hopeful for the future. It's America that's going to make this country what it is and what it will be. So volunteers put flags on every grave at the Knoxville National Cemetery ahead of this Memorial Day. They still need volunteers to help take them down. So if you want to help, just show up at the cemetery Tuesday night at 7. John? We know people will answer that call, Vinay. Thank you.